Oh, that's right, students. We're about to do some absolute value inequality solving right now. Calm down, Umu. I know you're super excited. All right, so let's take a look at this problem. The first thing we have to do is isolate the absolute value. That's always where we start. So we're going to start by just subtracting 12 from both sides. Let's subtract this 12, get it out of there. All right, boom, you're done. And we just get x minus 4 is less than or equal to 3. From here, we split. Now, there's an interesting thing we do. We can just ignore this less than or equal to sign. And for now, we're just going to write x minus 4 is equal to 3. All right. And over here, x minus 4 is equal to negative 3. Why do we ignore it? Well, it doesn't really matter for now. When we're, we want a graph, we're just going to look for the symbol, and that will tell us what to do. So for now, we're just going to put equal signs, and this is going to give us our critical points. All right. From here, we just solve, so we get x is equal to 7. We added 4 to both sides, and x is equal to 1. Those are our critical points. I plot them over here. So let's say this is 1. We don't really have numbers, and this is 7. We just put them there ourselves. From here, what we do to graph after we've plotted our, crit our critical points is just look at the symbol. If it's a greater than symbol, then we graph out. If it's a less than symbol, then we graph in. And in this case, the absolute value has a less than symbol next to it, so we're going to graph in. So from here, I'm going to fill in the dots because it's equal to as well. It's less than or equal to. And then we just say that our solution set is everything in the middle over here. So we could say, in another way of saying this would be that x is greater than or equal to 1, and then also less than or equal to 7. All right, two ways to do it. You can graph it or represent it algebraically. Both work for me. If for some reason you didn't believe me, we could also just try plugging a number between 1 and 7. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, let's try plugging in 2 to our equation. So let's try this. So if I plug in 2 minus 4, okay, I'm just plugging in for x, plus 12 is less than or equal to 15, okay? This would give us the absolute value of 2, negative 2, plus 12, it's less than or equal to 15. This gives us 14. It's less than or equal to 15. Sure enough, it works. So that proves that any number in between 1 and 7 is the, in, within the solution set to our equation. All right, let's try one more just for good practice. This guy. Oh, look at that. It's already isolated. Boom. We could just get right into it. We split. We say x plus 1 is equal to 3. That's the positive version. And x plus 1 is equal to negative 3. Remember, we're just putting the equal signs in. For here, we solve. We subtract 1 from both sides. We subtract 1 from both sides. We get x equals 2 and x equals negative 4. Those are our two critical points that we're going to plot on our graph. So let's put it down here. We got negative 4 over here. We got a 2 over here. And we look at our symbol now to figure out which direction we're going in. Let's see, this is a greater than symbol. Greater than, if you remember, goes outwards. So we will graph everything going out, like meow, <laughs> and everything like out like this, and filling it in like meow. And that represents our solution slip. Are we done? No, I gotta put my dots in there. Remember, because it's not equal to, I need some dots. Open circle to say that it's not exactly on negative four. Once again, if you get it, good, you could stop watching, but let's check. Let's say you don't believe me. Um, let's pick a number greater than 2. Let's say 10. If I plug 10 into this equation, do I get a number greater than 3? Um, let's see. Is that the absolute value is 11 is greater than 3? Yep, that worked. You could try it on this side. Let's try negative 20. All right, that's a number on this side of the equation. If I put in negative 20 plus 1, is greater than 3. That gives me the absolute value of negative 19 is greater than it, so not equal to 3. And sure enough, that also works. So, so that's it for your lesson. And remember, kids, it was Mother's Day recently, so I want you to go look your mom in the eye and say, Mom, 